Actually going straight for Tempest Kung Lao, picking the uh, the nice new costume that Kung Lao has received. Geg's going for K uh, Kotokan straight away. I don't think he wants to fight Kung Lao in that matchup with Quan. Not that I think it's a bad matchup, but it's not fun being knocked on the ground against Kung Lao. But that's the way it goes. Kung Lao thrives on Oki and knockdown games and just straight up pressure. I mean, Kung, uh, Quan Chi just doesn't quite have the speed of the normals of the armor to really compete with that. But then Kotal Khan has to meet a burn sword to at least try and challenge if he thinks that Fox is going to press too many buttons. Oh, and he gets the first hit. Very important. Denying Kotal Khan that first hit is denying the armored launcher one time. Very important at the start of the game. Be even have the advantage. There's the cross up. Gex yeah, blocking really well right now. And there's the sword. It's just a full on normal sword, not Mia Burn. Oh, he runs into the overhead right as he does it. Ge uh, Gex gets the jump in. Oh, unfortunate drop there. Very surprising. This throw, no doubt, will take him into the corner right now. Oh, doesn't quite get the confirm. The orbiting hat doesn't quite hit in time. And there's the block on the uh, Mia Burn sword. Tries to get the punish, doesn't quite get it. Minus three on the orbiting hat though, so still perfectly safe. Once again, Gegg's blocking really well oh. now. Down 2 to just challenge out of that pressure. A lot of patience here. Foxy just kind of waiting for the meat burn sword, I think. And there's the sword just to get in. Hits Foxy, she gets the tech roll. Oh, wow, and there's the full whiff punish for the teleport. What reactions from Foxy Grandpa? And that's going to be Chip, no doubt. Oh, and he does get the late wake up again. Oh, Gegg's gets a full jump in, but too far away to capitalize. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Gegg's goes in for the meat burn sword just to... Get the launcher, but Foxy Grandpa just takes the chip from the spin to take that away. Ooh, Gex gets the down one. Gex getting a lot of mileage out of just the raw swords right now, just in those mid-screen ranges where he knows that Foxy would want to go in with a 4-2 or something like that. He's just going to completely shoot up with the sword. And there's the jail jump in. Ooh, he does actually get the hit there. Normally the orbiting hat does normally chew through armor, but Foxy mustn't have got the attack in time. Ah, oh, nice interrupt there from Foxy knowing that's not a true block string. 33% 30, damage reversal. It's a hard knockdown. I mean, something you'll see Fox Grandpa, he doesn't usually go for the double dive kick um, combo enders. Even though it does more damage, the 2 1 hard knockdown does give you a free orbiting hat, which he prefers. So obviously, you can go in and do whatever you want. Of course, I mean, that, that's the important thing, because last time he acknowledged that even when the orbiting hat was a, a, a thing and it was around Kung Lao, Gegs actually still tried to wake up attack. And it worked, because Foxy didn't commit to a button press. But Foxy remembering that, you know, going, if I knock him down next time, is he going to try and wake up attack again? even when I've got the hat. And if, if he does try and do it, then if he times it correctly, we'll entirely chew through Kotal Khan's wake-up options. Um, I don't think that Kotal Khan was to blame there, though, but Gegs, knowing Gegs does not seem ever shy of changing characters, but it does look like he's going to actually go back to War God. Yep, he is sticking Straight with War God Kotal Khan for now. And obviously we've got Tempest from Foxy Grandpa, as usual. I mean, um, it, it's, it's strange seeing a player... Um, Make a variation change after so many, after so much success. Obviously, we saw uh, Foxy Grandpa have most of his success with Buzzsaw Kung Lao, especially like his first four wins was purely on Buzzsaw. We didn't see him really swap to Tempest until nearing the UK Combat Cup Finals. That was really where he made the change to Tempest because you know that Cassie Cage can punish Buzzsaw's low hat for free every time. So he made the change to Tempest. He's really explored this variation, and now we see him go to it more than Buzzsaw. Foxy gets the tight link, which will lead to max damage, 37%, meatless. And once again, again, acknowledging that Geggs tried to do a wake-up attack last time, but does get grabbed and put in the corner. See if Geggs can ride this momentum. Oh, goes to overhead sword from a safe range. Smart stuff. Gets the full oh. cross up. That cheeky jump in, though, from Geggs. Fox Grandpa with three bars of meter, though. Oh, and there's the full air-to-air -air conversion. That's a Kung Jin conversion right there. Using the dive kick just to get that, re um, that, that sort of neutral situation that easier follow-up. Oh, here comes the chip, and that's a full hit confirmed. Does drop the combo, unfortunately. That's a very tight link. I do believe you have two frames to get that. And there's the uh, meter burn spin just for the clean guaranteed anti -air. Expensive round, but Foxy managed to take it. And that will be it. I love that costume for Kung Lao. I can't stop taking my eyes off the mustache. Oh, and does get the link there. That's not easy to do, that link. And he gets it again. Good stuff there from Foxy. That's, that's so much damage. I mean, the reason he goes for it is he gets 40% meter on every touch. All goes to the sweep, like almost like the uh, the pseudo 50-50. If the sweep hits before the orbiting hat, the orbiting hat will launch the opponent, but Gex with a good block. And that's chip territory right there. Nothing he can do about that. Waking up would not have saved him. Crazy pressure there from Tempest and Foxy Grandpa. And the interesting thing, Foxy opting not to go for the brutality either. He just wants to get this done. So Skipping Foxy the Grandpa winner comes to us a changed man. He's got a new costume. He's not brutality at the end of every match. He has changed his ways. I can't stop looking at that mustache, though. I mean, that that's an amazing mustache. It really is. It's a great costume, especially he, he picks the recolor. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's the best costume in the pack by far. Oh, no doubt. W without a doubt. Without a doubt. But this was the sequence here. 
Um, just hard knock down. Here comes the all-being hat. There really was nothing Gags could do about that. And then he gets caught pressing buttons because he can't really just sit there and block. He's going to die. Just, just try and do something. Very futile, though. Gags may try and change to summon a quad now. We see it. No, oh, he's, he's gone. 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 Khan once again. He must have liked that matchup at all. We would normally see Gags not be shy of changing to Quan Chi, but I don't think he likes this matchup at all against Kung Lao. I respect it. I, I respect it. I mean, I think Quan Chi can win. It's not a bad match, don't get me wrong, but it's it's definitely really difficult when you get knocked down against Kung Lao. But that's what's giving him problems with Kotal Khan, let alone if he makes a swap to Quan Chi. He's got even less defensive options. Does get a grab, though. Evening out the life. Is he going to check him with a hat? Oh, that sword too slow to compete with that, and that's a clean anti yeah, meter burn spin. Would have gone into a clean 35% as well, but Foxy getting that link once again. Be a full convert. Hard knockdown into orbiting hat. Gag's not pressing buttons anymore. Ooh, till Foxy goes for the punish, but doesn't quite get it. Gag's gets a clean throw, putting Foxy in the corner. And once again, just really good spacing with the overhead sword, but that's the air to air. The jump too, such a powerful jump normal with Kung Lao. I love that, where Foxy goes for the orbiting hat, just to pressure you on knockdown. Match point to Foxy Grandpa on the verge of 3 0 in Gags right now. And there's a running down four for the advantage, goes in, Gags blocking, acknowledges it. Just the meter build, Foxy Grandpa just putting so much bar, especially that one string, catches the link again. Gags without meter to break, this is going to be hitting very hard now. Orbiting hat, trying to wake up and he gets the choose through the armor once again. Or misses it this time, but still gets the advantage from it. Oh, and he acknowledges he's going to try and do it. Meet Ben Hat. That keeps dropping on Kurt Khan. I wonder why. You never really see that orbiting hat drop, but for some reason against Kurt, he just keeps doing it. Still, Foxy wanted to go for me. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay. He still says learn from this. That's, that's, I, well, I've never seen that before. He just kind of walked 